Hi, welcome back to my vlogs. Today I am starting on a really, really exciting project and I'm going to be making something that I've wanted to make for a long time, but I just, it's one of those things that I've just never got around to doing and it's a corset bodysuit. So the perfect opportunity arose and I'm starting work on it today. So I am a sponsor for the Miss burlesque australia competition which is taking place the canberra heat's taking place here at the abbey on the 29th of june and as part of my sponsorship i am dressing um the two organizers and the host so one of the organizers is jazida who is just a superstar local burlesque dancer who's doing great things nationally and internationally and I'm getting to make an outfit for her. So I suggested that I make a corset bodysuit for her as part of the outfit. And she just loved the idea. So today we are doing the first fitting. So this is Jazida's design or the rough design. We're going to, it'll sort of evolve a little bit as we go. So it's going to be a black satin corseted play suit with purple embellishments and crystals on it. So the, the all three outfits are going to be black and purple. Um, it's going to be a black jacket with big structured shoulders with loads of crystals and bling on the shoulders and fading down. She's bought some thigh high boots which we're going to decorate. I'm not sold on the little top hat. I'm not sure about what we're going to do for the wig yet. That'll all come later. Um, and then there's going to be some kind of big bustle as well. So we're starting on the corset today. But before I do that, let me show you the materials I've bought for all three. So I've got plain purple sequin fabric. Um, which I'm going to mainly use for the host. So Charlie Chapstick is the host. I'm doing a look that changes for each time she presents on stage. So she's going to be mainly in that. Then Jazida's corset is going to be black. And then I've bought this sequin fabric, which I can cut. Oh, look at these amazing patterns that I can cut out um, and use. And Michael Wheatley's the other organiser. And I'm blinging up a black tuxedo jacket for him with the same purple sequins and crystals. So then I'm also going to use this fabric as an overskirt and a cape to go with Charlie's outfits. So everything's here. It's just a case of getting started on it all now. I just, I love this fabric and the shapes in it are going to work beautifully to add to jackets. Look at this. I love all these straight lines so that I can cut those out and put them on. And then at this end, you've got all these beautiful sort of curly, swirly shapes as well. So many possibilities. But... I couldn't find any that was purple sequins on black mesh, so I had to get purple on purple. So I only want the sequins to show, so I'm actually going to use black crystals to hide all of these mesh bits in between. So you remember in a vlog recently I showed you all the flat back crystals that arrived and my little baby iron. So I've been doing a little bit of experimenting with them. So that's the black crystals ironed onto the purple sequins. Look how sparkly they are. Um, the purple see the purple crystals look a bit too brown against this but the black crystals work perfectly to iron in those gaps which will blend it so this is the black satin that jazidas will be made out of and yeah once i've filled in all these gaps with crystals and that's just the black on black as well i think it's going to look amazing it's going to be a lot of work but i really want to make something completely special to show off my costume making skills and costume designing skills because it's not something I've done a lot of recently and I yeah I just really want to push myself with this and make something really spectacular and memorable so Jazida will be here for her first fitting in a minute so what I've done to begin with so I've never made a corset body before so what I've decided to do is start with just the corset part and fit that and then from there I will add the bottom part of it that will turn into the play suit. I'm filming tutorial videos for all of this as I do it. So I'll show you the behind the scenes and the vlogs as usual. And then nearer the time, so the events at the end of June. So nearer the time, I'll start uploading all the videos showing you how I've made the costumes. And then we'll get some footage of everyone dressed up and styled on the night. So Jazida's got an amazing figure already. And we really want to exaggerate this. So I've cut the corset really curvy on her. She's used to wearing corsets, she's used to a good reduction. So I've just made this from a layer of calico 
and then some satin it's actually the satin offcuts from the flora dress so i've used them on the outside i haven't put any boning up the middle just on the seams for now for this sort of first rough draft of it and then at the back i've put some straight steel down the back and laced it up it doesn't fit on my mannequin at all because my mannequin's not corset shaped but hopefully once i get it on jazida well, you can see how the fit is and see what needs changing. And then I will measure down from here and work out the shape and size for the bottom part. So Jazida's fitting went really well. There's just a few minor changes I need to make to the pattern for the actual corset part. So I'm just going to bring the top of the centre front in just a tiny bit, just to bring the bust a little bit tighter, just to give it a little bit more cleavage. But the overall shape at the top is really good. Um, I need to bring it in... Just the very bottom of this side seam at the hip was just not curved in quite enough. I just need to curve that in a fraction just so it sits against her hip a little bit better. And then what I've done is I've measured for the bottom part of it. So now I can draft all the changes onto the pattern that I kept. This satin worked really well. So I'm going to do another calico and satin toile but this time i'm going to add the bottom part that makes it into the bodysuit and she's back next week for the next fitting so i'll show you progress of that as i do it she loved the sequin fabric that i bought she loved the crystals she's found the boots to go with it we've come up with some ideas for the headpiece that um do you remember i said i wasn't keen on the top hat so we've come up with some ideas for the headpiece um yeah so next fitting next week and then hopefully i can get started on making it for real so tomorrow I'm going to be starting on the next dress and the next series of videos um, that I'm going to be making for my channel. So I was meant to start today, but I need to go out and buy some supplies. And when I got in my car, I've got a completely dead battery. Nothing, not even trying to turn over. So I have to wait for my husband to get home to give me a jump start so I can go and buy what I need. But I think by the time he gets back, it's going to be too late for me to get to an in-craft set. So I'm going to go first thing in the morning, get what I need really quickly. I think they open at 10 and then get home and get sewing. So I've just been getting everything else together. So I'm going to show you what the next dress is going to be. Oh, and I just want to say, um, you've probably noticed that all my videos have got adverts on now. So I've finally reached the point where I can monetize my videos and make a little bit of money from people watching them, people watching ads, people clicking on ads, um, which is going to be a big help for me. So up until now, I haven't made a single cent from any of the videos that I've made. I've just done them on my own time in between working on stuff for clients. So if I can start making a little bit of money from them, if I can yeah, maybe grow my channel and make a little bit more money, um, it's going to just give me the resources to cover the costs of making videos and hopefully even pay myself a little bit from some of it at some point as well. So thank you to everyone who watches ads. I know it's really, really annoying when you want to watch a video and an ad pops up, but honestly, without these ads, I can't keep making videos. Yeah, I know it's annoying. I know it's annoying, but they're such a necessary thing for creators like me. Anyway, this is what I've got for the next scan. So I've shown you bits and pieces of this over the sort of weeks as I've been stashing and hoarding all this stuff. So this is the design for the next dress and I've called her Fortuna. So from this Latin phrase, meaning fortune favors the bold, I've taken the Fortuna part of that. And she's gonna be a pretty princess bride and I'm gonna give her a horseshoe. I love the sort of traditional um, gift, gift of giving someone a horseshoe at their wedding for luck. So. I've actually got some real horseshoes that my sister gave me years ago. She's horse crazy. And I'm going to decorate one of those for her to hold. So the skirt is going to be a T-length skirt made of white tulle with a fluffy petticoat underneath. Then the corset is going to be white satin with this silver beaded lace over the top. And I'm going to attach a little cape to it. So I think the cape's actually going to be part of the dress. I'm not sure yet, or I might do it separately. I haven't quite decided and then she's going to have a crown and my purple potato wig and then i've got this jewelry so i've got two necklaces that i've bought that i love and then i've got the mini crown and the earrings that i'm going to be making the big crown from so tomorrow the first job i'm going to do and the first video tutorial i'm going to film is oh 
I've got to put that caught in the lace again. I have three of these Hell Bunny petticoats, which are the, the fluffy ones that I use all the time. So I'm going to turn these three knee length petticoats into one long T length petticoat. It's really, really hard to buy long, fluffy, full petticoats. So using three $50 or $60 petticoats seems extravagant. But all of the long petticoats that I've ever seen are hundreds and hundreds of dollars or take hours and hours and hours of cutting and ruffling and sewing. So I've not done this before, but in my head I can, I've kind of planned out how I'm going to do it. So I want the petticoat to still be fluffy, but I still want it to be a circle so it will still really spin and look as cool as the the shorter petticoats do when you spin in those. Yeah, so I'm going to dissect these three and then put them back together at a different length. Then I've got my bolt of tulle, which will be for my fluffy skirt. And then I'm actually going to do a separate corset to go over the top. So that's going to be white satin with this beautiful sparkly silver lace. And I'll probably throw some extra crystals on that because you can never have too much sparkle, obviously. Yep, so that's my, I've got a couple of orders to work on this week, so I'm going to start the petticoat tomorrow, and then hopefully I can work on it on Monday, school's back this week, so I'm definitely going to have more time to work on things now that holidays are over, so hopefully I can get a really good start on it this week, and finish it the week after. So I have what I need to do the petticoat now. I couldn't get a good strong mesh, they only had chill, which I've already got, so I actually ended up with this just white satin um everything in Lincraft is half price today so i got this for six dollars a meter so i just bought the whole roll um i also bought a whole load of calico while it was cheap as well so i've got that and i've got my one two three petticoats and i'm about to start cutting them up and putting them back together so i've got my first two ruffled layers <laughs> cut off there's so much of them by the time you've Cut them off and cut all that um, gathering out of them. So I've got two. I need to do exactly the same with the other two now. I've done it. I've got my six piles of ruffles. How am I going to tame all this? There's so much fabric. So next I need to work out the length I need to cut my satin. And I think I'm going to do a full circle. So I probably need to leave it to drop overnight, don't I? Otherwise it's going to end up wonky with the bits that drop. Yeah, I hadn't thought that through. I'm going to need to cut my circles, hang them up and let them drop and then re-cut them to the right length before I attach these. So I'm not going to be able to finish this today. Damn, I didn't think of that. Never mind. There's no rush. Oh, everything takes longer than I expect it to. But never mind. I'll get that. I'd rather, I'd rather wait and let this, the fabric drop and do it properly than end up with a really uneven hem on the petticoat. Because I want to try, you know, sometimes when you see something with lots of layers and it ends up doing that thing where it curves up at the side. I really want with the petticoat and with the tulle skirt, I really want to try and get it so it's a really flat, even hem at the bottom so it doesn't end up with that curve. So, yeah, I'm going to take the time, do it properly and hopefully end up with a really, really good skirt and petticoat at the end of it. So there hasn't been a lot going on this week because I've been working on lots of orders. Um, Actually, I've got to work on orders tomorrow, so it'll probably be Tuesday before I get to work on this again. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.